All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Blaugrana Planet. Today, the new episode of the Negreira case. There are news. In fact, good news for Football Club Barcelona. Because the tax agency, the Spanish tax agency, or treasury, as you would like to call it, has not found any evidence of the payment to referees directly that could be involved in changing decisions, guys, in changing decisions, okay? So there are payments done to the vice president of the referee committee, but there is zero proof in regards of payments directly to referees that could be um, involved in changing um, decisions in the game, okay? Therefore, literally, there's no proof, guys. The payments that were done by Football Club Barcelona are, 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 were done in order to get documents, um, um, for example, uh, videos and, and documents that would explain how a referee likes uh, to do his job, okay? Technical, technical documents about a referee, but not, there is no proof that would involve the payments in order to change decisions in a game, in order to get favorable calls. There is no proof yet, okay? At least yet. And that's the, the treasury. That's the, um, the, the, the Spanish tax agency that has documented everything, that has revised every single document, every single proof. They cannot find anything. Because guess what? There is nothing. Maybe that's the reason. Because there is nothing. Okay, of course, the public prosecutor still investigating the case. But it's very, very good news that the tax agency has not found anything. Nothing, okay? Nothing, nothing, nothing to take into account. Therefore, the new episode, guys, of the Negreira case, it's a, it's a good episode. And in fact, Laporta said it a few a few days ago. He said that there is a, a campaign against Barcelona, and that is pretty clear. There is a big campaign against Football Club Barcelona now that we're doing very well in La Liga. And of course, this campaign is also could could also be involved in the fact that uh, Barcelona didn't sign the CVC agreement, the fact that Barcelona is involved in the Super League. Um, the fact that Barcelona has made incredible signings and we only conceded eight goals in La Liga. The fact that Xavi Hernández is doing very, very well. Well, we always know, we've always known that uh, Barcelona is going against everything and everyone. It's always been like this. There is no surprise. There is no surprise. But when you try to incriminate Football Club Barcelona for such a big thing, you must have your proofs ready. But guess what? There's none. What is true, guys, is that the damage, the reputational damage that La Liga uh, and, of course, Football Club Barcelona has taken due to this case um, will difficult. Uh, it will be very difficult to be restored. Very, very difficult. But we will get there. We will get there, of course, with the, with, the, with the clearance of this case. And Mr. Laporta could be very happy, could be very, very happy, because uh, it is clear that we're getting back on track. And we now need to clean the name of this, of this entity. Of course, the investigation is not over. Careful. Investigation keeps on going. As I said, the public prosecutor <clears throat> and all the parties involved, La Liga, um, the, the the Spanish Federation, um, even a bunch of clubs, even including Real Madrid, all of these clubs are involved within the public prosecutor in order um, to see if they can find something against Barcelona, right? Let them, let them do their thing. Let them do their thing. Let them waste their time. We will keep on bashing them in La Liga. We will keep on bashing them and on the field okay it is important to know that the investigation is not over of 
course, there are some indications, you know, that there, is, there is no proof and, and, and the lack of explanation maybe gets people thinking about a possible indication of, uh, of these um, illicit services, you know. But, you know, <clears throat> indications uh, are nothing. You need proofs. You need proof, you know, hypotheses that people can create in their own minds, in their own matrix. Well, <clears throat> let them let them think whatever they want. Okay. What is sure? What is sure at that right now, Barcelona is innocent, as innocent as a little kid. Huh? We haven't done anything bad, anything wrong. We paid to get reports about referees, nothing else. Okay. In fact, in fact, Um, there are news that there has been more reports being found in in some homes of uh, of uh, Barca directives and 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 yeah former former Barcelona director there was an investigation there was a, um, there was a search in his house and they found some documents uh, which are reports referee reports um, written by the ne the Negreira um, family about uh, Mateo Laoz, for example, even about Gil Manzano, eh, about Gil Manzano, two very polemical referees that, in fact, they breathe Madridismo, you know, maybe, maybe all of this was, was, was uh, you know, payments in order to, to try to compensate for, for uh, the, the, the Madridismo that all these referees are breathing, you know. <clears throat> But, you know, if, if there is any, anything that we did wrong, then, it, of course, it will come up. What is sure, guys, what is sure is that La, if Laporta had signed the CVC agreement, if Laporta had renounced to the Super League, if Laporta um, had constructed or decided to construct the Spy Barça with, with, with the Spanish companies that uh, Mr. Tebas was uh, recommending, Well, uh, he, he wouldn't be probably involved in anything. Barcelona would be, of course, very clear. And miss, maybe even Laporta was getting a prize by La Liga for being the best president. Instead, instead, guys, Mr. Tebas is having a huge campaign against uh, Laporta. A huge campaign. Tebas today was in a, in a convention, sports convention, and he did talk about a lot of things. They interviewed him. They, he did talk a lot about a lot of things. One of them, one of them uh, was uh, the fact that, uh, well, he was asked if Mr. Laporta should uh, renounce um, as, the, as one of the vice presidents of the board of directors of the Spanish Federation, not as the president of Barcelona, as, as the vice president of uh, the board of directors of the Spanish Federation, okay? Of course, Tebas said Rubiales should seize Laporta. Eh, Laporta is not going to renounce, he's not going to resign. Instead, Rubiales, who is the president, this bold guy, you know, skinny bold guy, <coughs> um, said Tebas said that Rubiales should um, should seize Laporta. He also <coughs> he also talked about many things, but in fact, I want to I want to make this clear because I've seen in the internet. There is a lot of uh, people talking about this, and in a wrong way. Um, they think that um, that Mr. Tebas said that Laporta should renounce as the president of Barcelona, but he didn't say that. He said, um, as the as the vice president of the of the board of directors of the Spanish Federation, right? So here it is: Should Laporta resign from the um, uh, Real Federation of Spanish football? Board of Directors, rather, and this is what he said, rather than resign, the president of the federation will have to seize him. He has a manager with a club involved in payments of the vice president of the technical committee of referees for 20 years. Well, um, for what? Payments for what? I mean, the board of directors appoints them to President Rubiales. It has been his decision. I think I should. Uh, he should stop him. He supported... He Sorry, he, he participated in the payments as president to Mr. Negreira. I think it should be stopped, but I don't think Rubiales is protecting Barcelona. He did talk about many other things, but we're not going to talk about that in today's video. But as I said, guys, Mr. Tebas has a huge campaign against Football Club Barcelona. This is something very, very clear. This is something that we've been seeing for many, many years. But what is true, guys, is that slowly 
slowly the truth is coming out and the truth is that football club barcelona is innocent and in fact in fact i'm really waiting for for the attack of football club barcelona the response of football club barcelona because of course football club barcelona will respond to all of this la porta said it we will attack of course not only defend ourselves but we will attack and everybody that's speaking crap about Barcelona publicly, well, they will have to pay for it eventually, at some point. Maybe not these clowns on Twitter, these Real Madrid clowns on Twitter, but you know, when journalists write articles and, 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 and they make false accusations against a club with no proof that are hurting um, the image of the club, that's a crime. That's a crime and they should pay for it. They should pay for it. So, again, guys, my little my little take on this. I obviously think that Laporta um, is doing the right moves, is moving slowly. But I also think that Football Club Barcelona, in such a way, got scammed. Okay, um, <clears throat> that's that's my hypothesis. I think that Negreira was getting overpaid for these reports, referees reports. And certainly there could be something behind, but you cannot prove it. You cannot prove it. You cannot prove it. Even the, the public prosecutor is going to have a lot of trouble in trying to prove something that doesn't exist. You know, but uh, when you hate somebody, when you hate a club like, uh, like uh, the Madrid people do, when you hate Catalonians, when you hate um, a club like Football Club Barcelona, well, you have to be careful because they can even make up shit against the club like they are doing right now. And maybe I hope not, but they can even they can even blame you and and uh, incriminate you for things that you didn't do. Uh, this is this is how the mafia operates. And the mafia is in Madrid. OK, and, and it's led by my Mr. Tebas and, and, and all these people that um, that support Real Madrid, etc. Even Florentino Perez, guys, even Florentino Perez um, could be involved. But anyways, guys, I see 130 people right now watching, only 31 likes, guys, smash the like button. I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Smash the like button if you think that Laporta is gonna bury Tebas. Uh, smash the like button if you think that Laporta is gonna destroy everything. And uh, smash the like button if you believe that Barcelona is going to win uh, the Champions League next season. Why not? You know, why not? So everybody, make sure you do that. Subscribe if you haven't done so to the channel. As I said, guys, I try to bring you my little intake uh, from, from the topics, the hot topics. It is, it is important that somebody from here, from Barcelona, that knows what it's talking about, gives you their intake. Okay, well, of course, we cover the news. But this is not the news uh, news show, okay? This is not the news. Uh, this is not the news show. We give opinion, and of course, very crafted and cured opinion about what's going on in Barcelona, here from Barcelona itself. Therefore, subscribe, smash the like button, guys, if you haven't done so already, and remember, and remember, don't mention the name of this club in vain. Don't accusate this club in vain because they will come for you. They will come for you. Karma exists, baby. Karma is gonna get you. And look what Kessier, Mr. Kessier did the other day. Bam! 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 Slowly but surely, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Things are changing. Things are changing. The fact that they are creating campaigns against Barcelona, it is a clear sign. They are afraid. They are afraid, baby. They are afraid. So guys, drop the likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's keep moving. Let's keep going. Vamos.